Welcome back, mathletes. We are getting into things that I think are pretty cool. Um, so section 5.3, exponential functions. <clears throat> so these things are pretty, I think these are pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, so let's see what it is. So an exponential function, it has the form uh, y equals a to the x plus b, uh, where a is greater than zero, so the a is positive, and a is not equal to one. So what makes it exponential versus a polynomial is your variable is now up uh, in your exponent as, as opposed to like where the a is, or which is called the base. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the, what the parent graph is for, from the parent function. So the parent function is just this thing. Uh, y equals a to the x plus b. So the graph, it's pretty distinct. There's a horizontal asymptote, not a vertical, but horizontal, right at whatever this b value is. So whatever number is over here, that's your horizontal asymptote. And then the curve, it's pretty flat on the left side but then it starts to curve up and then it goes practically vertical as X goes off to the right. So it gets higher and higher and higher. <clears throat> and then it's got a Y uh, intercept. So we're gonna be using this parent graph to figure out the graphs of, uh, um, of all of these functions uh, down here using what we know about you know how things are gonna flip upside down, when it's gonna, you know, turn over like the y-axis, and so on and so forth. Okay, so example one, graph the function, label the y-intercept, the horizontal asymptote, and state the domain and range. Okay, so two to the x. Also, it doesn't matter what the base value is for these because they're just sketches. If we were actually gonna be plotting points and doing things to scale on a grid on a graph paper, then there is going to be a difference if this is a two versus if it's a seven or a three. Uh, but for now, they're just uh, sketches. So as long as you have the right shape uh, with the right data, that's good enough. All right, so two to the X. There's no B value here. So that means your horizontal asymptote is at zero. And we didn't do anything to the base, like there's no negative in front of it. The X is still positive. There's no negative sitting in front of that. So it still has that same shape as the parent graph. So something just like that. And now we need to find the Y intercept. So how do you find a Y intercept for any graph? You got it, plug in zero for X. So if x is zero, the y comes out as a one. So then the domain and the range. So the domain, you know, there's no x in a denominator, there's no x in a square root. So you can plug anything you want in for x. So all reals. But if you look at your graph, the range is not all reals. Like it kind of left out a big old section and that was anything that was below the X axis. So that's what your horizontal asymptote pretty much does. It's like your boundary line for your graph. So for this curve, it is zero to infinity. So zero on up, just not including zero. All right, moving on to two to the negative X. So when your X is negative, it's not gonna flip it upside down. It's instead, it's gonna, it's gonna flip it uh, across the Y axis. Uh, so when the X is negative itself, things point like in opposite directions. So it's gonna go up on the left side and flatten out on the right. And if you plug in zero for X, you get zero one again. Domain, still the same thing, still all reals, or if you wanted 
negative infinity to infinity. And the range is zero to infinity. Okay, let's go ahead and do C and D and then we'll uh, take a break from the video. So now you have a negative sitting in front of the base in front of the two. So when the negative is out in front of everything, it flips it upside down. So it's still flat on the left, but now it's going down on the right side. You plugged in zero for X, you end up with a negative one, and the horizontal asymptote is still at zero. Domain still all reals, uh, but now the range is all the negatives, anything that was below your X axis. Okay, part D, now you have a negative in front of the two and in front of the X. So it's kind of a combination of the two situations here. So we have to flip it over the Y axis and flip it over the X axis. So it's pointing down on the left and flattens out as it goes off to the right. Horizontal asymptote is still at zero. The Y intercept is at zero, negative one domain all reals, and then the range, negative infinity to zero. All right, let's stop here and pick it up in the next video.